So if the zombie apocalypse was to happen right now, the case that you want on your iPhone is gonna be a Snow Lizard SLX Extreme 7 or a Snow Lizard SLX Extreme 6. Why? Because it's a solar powered behemoth that comes with a massive spare battery and it's waterproof and drop proof. I guess it'd also be good for people who like to spend time outdoors or are allergic to power outlets and charging your iPhones through cables. Now I've been using this Snow Lizard SLX Extreme for the sixes and sevens for a while and I can tell you that they're absolute tanks. For my SLX Extreme review, I've given this case a score of 4.4 A's out of five. The case suffers greatly when it comes to design, but this high score is buoyed by all the extra functionality it provides your iPhone. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna talk about the design of the case, the protection that an accident offers your iPhone, and I'm gonna talk about the best part of the case, the solar powered spare battery. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, a dot ca. At mobile reviews, a dot ca, Monty and I, this dog, <laughs> base all her reviews on actual usage. And I know this isn't Monty. My wife is home today, and so she's taking Monty out for a walk. Uh, so I brought out my old pound puppy. I saved it for my kid, which I'm having in about a month. So when it comes to extreme cases, well, I'll leave it outside for days at a time to see how long it takes to charge the battery, take it on a hike, and to top it off, I'll just do general bad things to it because it says I can. And I really do all this to answer the question, would I spend $120 on this case? Uh, if I would if I was an outdoorsy person, but this would be a hard case to use on a daily basis, in my opinion. Now, when it comes to design, the Snow Lizard SLX Extreme is the largest case I have reviewed for the iPhone 7. It takes your relatively felt iPhone 6S or 7 and turns it into a giant plastic brick. From a bulk and weight perspective, the SLX Extreme nearly broke my scoring system. The SLX Extreme fits together quite well. There isn't anything on the case that stood out to me in terms of coming apart. The front of the SLX Extreme won't slide around easily and the backside will most likely stay put, but it kind of depends on the angle of the surface that you're gonna put it on. Installing your iPhone is simple as all you have to do is unclip the bottom and slide your iPhone into the case. Removal is equally as simple as Snow Lizard designed, designed it so that when you unclip the bottom, the iPhone comes out with the bottom so you don't have to shake the device out. From a wear and tear perspective, the case will hold up well over time since the majority of the corners are covered in rubber. There are a couple of places where there is hard plastic which might scratch during a bad drop. The texture of the case is surprisingly nice given the bulk. There is a lot of things happening on the case so your fingers always have something to hold on to. This is going to be an important feature if you have the larger iPhone 7 Plus case. Hey, hey look, Monty's back. Come here. Come here. Come on. Up. Oh, okay. Monty's going to help with the rest of the review. One of the things I will talk about is that Snow Lizard, that company has had to go through a lot in order to produce these cases. I do believe that their supplier from uh, at the beginning of the iPhone 6 era, their supplier lost their MiFi certification, so it took them almost two years to come back uh, with it, but they've managed to produce these cases. I'm actually really surprised that they're still around and I'm glad that they have because these are one of a kind types of cases. You're not gonna find anything else that is this tough and has these features with it. When it comes to protection, the SLX Extreme is waterproof and drop rated to 6.6 .6 feet. You would think something with this bulk would be a bit tougher, but remember, there is a solar panel and a spare battery attached to this case. I personally wouldn't use the SLX Extreme as a waterproof case to capture you know, snorkeling footage just because of that bulk. You can do better uh, with something like the Hitcase Pro or Pro Shot. But with that being said, I have no problem actually getting the case wet or watching it get thrown into water. Screen protector is made from plastic and the edges of the case are high enough to keep the screen off a flat surface. I've dropped the SLX Extreme several times and well, several times on the sidewalk, which I recorded, and the case held together quite well. I was especially curious to see how the bottom latch would stay together and after three drops, well, the latch still stayed on. Now, when it comes to the functionality of the iPhone, the only issue I had was with the sound. SLX Extreme definitely meets the sound coming from the iPhone, but it's not terrible. It's not as bad as the Ghost Tech Atomic 3, in my opinion. And like most waterproof cases, even though the sound isn't as loud, you can't mute the sound by covering up the speaker grills. The power sleep button feels great, though the volume buttons are a tad stiffer. The mute switch is rotary based, which is awesome because, well, it just makes that part of the iPhone so much easier to access. Screen access isn't terrible as the screen protector does sit on the iPhone quite well. I didn't run into many instances where the screen sensitivity was noticeably reduced. There was no diffusion either, which is awesome. I still can't figure out why LifeProof can't do that. One of the things that surprised me was the camera cutout. I totally thought that the thickness of the case was going to get in the way of the flash, but to my surprise, it didn't or it doesn't, or at least I can't tell. To access or charge your iPhone, you'll need to use a micro USB cable. Snow Lizard does provide one, and you can sync your iPhone through that port, which is handy. There's also a place for a wrist strap or a carabiner, uh, which is going to be great for attaching it to your backpack, as you're going to need to do that in order for you to charge your iPhone. 
When it comes to the spare battery, Snow Lizard has put a 4,000 milliamp hour battery into this case. And it looks like it fit a 4,000 milliamp hour battery because this thing, again, is massive. And how that all works out is that it will provide an extra 185% more power for your iPhone, which is quite significant. So you could almost go an entire week without actually charging your iPhone through a regular outlet. To charge your iPhone, all you have to do is press the button. One of the things I wish No Lizard did was add the ability to see the uh, battery capacity in the battery widget, because I have no idea what's actually left other than looking at the dots. I will also note that the SLX Extreme will start your iPhone from, from being completely dead. Now, in addition to the spare battery, the SLX Extreme comes with a built-in 20% monocrystalline solar panel. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to sound impressive, but all I know is that this spare battery is constantly being trickle charged by the solar panel. Now, if you want to know if your solar panel is actually charging your battery, uh, the SLX Extreme has these LEDs at the bottom of the case, which will either be blue or green, with green meaning that the solar panel is receiving a decent amount of sunlight. The more green dots you have, the more solar energy is being converted into power for your iPhone. The most amount of dots that I got was three, and there's a potential for four. Now you might be wondering, how long does it take to charge the iPhone battery? On the Snow Lizard site, it says one hour of sun will produce 10 minutes of talk time. Now doing a bit of theory crafting, Apple says that you can talk in your iPhone 7 for 14 hours straight on 3G, which theoretically means the SL Extreme will need to be in the sun for 84 hours straight in order for you to get a full charge. So I'm located in Calgary, uh, which is a very sunny place in Canada, and I get about eight to nine hours of sunlight during the summer a day, like direct piercing hot sunlight, uh, which is really nice. And so it would take about eight to nine days in order to fully charge the uh, battery on this SLX Extreme. I left this thing outside for six days and I got three out of four dots. So it took six days to get me, you know, 3000 milliamps of power. So I'm guessing the 10 minutes of talk time for every hour spent in the sun is pretty realistic. Um, I thought it'd be way quicker. But again, it's always trickle charging and if you're out in the boonies or if there's a zombie apocalypse, there's a good chance you're not using your iPhone for much. I do have to give props to uh, Snow Lizard because they did send me this case to review, which is awesome of them because they wouldn't send me this one. I had to go buy this one outright and it was pretty expensive, but pretty happy with this one. Um, find me on Google Plus Twitter as well as Facebook. I'm Aaron the Ho. Thanks for watching.